Welcome to the VR training session. Here you will learn how to operate CPAC CPRO cell processor. It is a multifunctional device composed of hardware, protocol software, and dedicated kit. Turn on the equipment by pushing the red button on top of the display. Now, let's launch a procedure. To start preparing your system for the process, load the protocol software that corresponds to your needs. Let's run the Neat Cell protocol. On the main screen, select the parameters to adapt it to your process, including initial and final volumes, number of wash cycles you want to have, and other parameters. Once you have selected all the parameters, click the back button to come back to the main screen. Select the green button to continue when the system prompts. From the main screen, you can also configure the list of traceability information that allows you to capture lots and unit ID once the procedure is started. Now the system is ready to start the procedure. Now, let's proceed to installation of the dedicated kit. We will start from the center and then move towards the extremities. First, pick up the separation chamber and place it inside the chamber pit. Now, touch the stopcock to connect and engage the stopcock. Touch the optical sensor to place the tube inside it. Touch the pressure sensor to screw the connect filter. Touch the chamber pit covers to close it. Pick up the drip chamber and hang it on the tall hook on the left. Place the final or intermediate bag to the left of the equipment. Hang the FICO bag on the right side of the equipment. Verify the overall status ensuring there are no kinks or twists visible. Once the kit installation is completed, click Start Procedure on the equipment display to begin the procedure. Click the green button to proceed. Click Donation ID to enter the ID. Now, pick up the barcode scanner and aim it at the barcode on the drip bag to scan it. Press Done to proceed. Now, press the Kit Test button to start the kit test. The instrument performs a control of the kit installation, in particular, by focusing on the central parts, the chamber, pressure sensor, optical sensor, and the stopcock. Once the kit test is completed, the protocol tells you what steps to do next. Next, prime the bubble chamber by gently squeezing it two to three times until it is half filled with the initial product. Once completed, replace the chamber on the support and validate on the screen. To start priming, take the drip bag with the initial product in your left hand so as to control its height. Place your right thumb on the screen over the start priming button. Pay attention during this process to ensure that you are able to stop the product flow at any moment. Press Start Priming button to start the process. The height of the bag controls the speed of the flow. Now, you will observe the product flowing from the drip bag through the tubing. You would want it to stop between the blue and white stopcock. Once the priming is finished, press the stop button. Congratulations! The protocol is now loaded, the kit is installed, and the system is ready to run your process. Now, let's see how the function works. The sample first flows through the optical sensor into the separation chamber inside the chamber pit. The sample is processed inside the separation chamber. The plasma from the sample is extracted and flows into the FICOL bag. The Buffy coat extraction sample flows into the final bag. After the RBC extraction, the processed sample flows back into the drip bag.
That's it. That is how to sell processor function works.